Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sue Franklin and welcome to day 26 of 30 Days Cultivating Appreciation. Wow, um, we're coming right down to the end and I love seeing your comments and the things you've posted in the group. Um, it's always uh, really exciting and fun <clears throat> and satisfying when I hear people talk about the wonderful shifts that they've experienced in themselves as they've been practicing doing these practices of cultivating appreciation. It's powerful. It's really powerful. It can help heal the mind and body and spirit, which is really conscious awareness. So I, I love that. Thank you so much for being here and, and, um, it's beautiful to see the things that people are experiencing. Um, I have a, a little announcement at the end that I'll share at the end of this video. Um, something I'm going to offer to the people who are participating in this 30 days cultivating appreciation. But first, let me get to today's uh, focus, which is treasure hunt. So, um, sometimes, and you probably have seen this actually over the month, that the more you pay attention to things that you can appreciate, the more things you see. It's kind of like when you become of, aware of some cool car, you suddenly start seeing it everywhere. And when before you might not have noticed it, but suddenly you're seeing them every day. And that kind of thing happens, our, you know, our brain filters out an enormous amount of information. Uh, but when we raise our awareness about something, then we tend to see that thing more and more frequently. So after you do your list of things to appreciate first thing in the morning, and you do your two minutes power pose, right? Shifting your energy. Then throughout the day, check in with yourself and the things that you most desire. The, usually we start from a place where something feels like it's wrong. Like I need to lose weight. I'm too heavy. I'm out of shape. Um, you know, my hair sucks or, uh, um, I don't have a relationship or I can't afford, you know, nice clothes or, uh, I, I'll, I can never afford that car that I'd really like. So your job today is to notice when you see those things out in the world. And sometimes you notice them for like, let's say if you're not in a relationship, and you see this beautiful uh, couple out walking down the street or maybe at a restaurant, sometimes there's a in us like, ow, I don't have a relationship. And when we do that, we're focusing on the negativity. And every time we have negative thoughts, creates negative brain chemistry, which is not confined to the brain, it flows through our whole body. And the negative chemistry affects every system in our body. So today, when you see that beautiful couple, I want you to go, oh, a beautiful couple. I'm so appreciative of being in a great relationship. I so appreciate the beauty and connection of being in a great relationship. So you're, you're, you see it out there, but you're making this comment about the thing you desire as if it was now. So, um, I see that car. Oh, for me, I think I'm really in love with the Tesla. I think it's gorgeous. And I love the, the whole technology of it too. So I see a Tesla and I'm like, oh, I so appreciate the beauty and sophistication of that car. I love owning that car. I'm so excited to buy that car. If you 
have some body issues and you see someone out there walking down the street who or in your office who you think is really beautiful and has your perfect body, the one you would like. Oh, I so appreciate my body. I, I love and appreciate being at my perfect weight. Oh, I love and appreciate being fit, strong and healthy. If you see someone out there wearing the style of clothes you would like and you know, clearly they're able to spend the money on it to get the kind of things that you think you would feel good in and love having, then you see that I, I appreciate having great, high quality, beautiful clothes that look great on me and feel great on me. That's what I appreciate. So use those moments. A lot of times you hear about the contrast. So we learn about what we do want when we come across the thing we don't want. We, when, we um, when we encounter pain or illness, we appreciate health and wellness. When we b crash into the feeling of lack or not having enough money, we really can appreciate abundance. So you're using the, the lack of as a cl clue as a, and as a cue and a clue to focusing and appreciating on what you do want and desire for yourself. Okay, so um, I want to, I appreciate that everyone's been here going through this process. It's fun for me. I love talking about all the mind principles, emotion principles, body, mind, body, spirit. I love talking about spiritual issues. So in honor of that Thanksgiving, I want to offer the people in this group um, an opportunity to have a distance Reiki session. We'll, we can do it by video for um, a special price, 25% less than I usually charge. So my usual fee is $100 for a 60 minute Reiki session, which means you can get a Reiki session, distance Reiki session for $75. And the way I do it is um, I integrate all my background in psychology, in um, spirituality, in energy work, in intuition, and I work on a mind, body, spirit level. So uh, it can be really powerful for letting go. I think one of the greatest things about Reiki is I'm not doing anything to you. I'm actually just helping you release the things that get in the way of allowing yourself to receive healing and balance. It, and it feels fabulous. If you want to know more about that, you can read more on my website at susanfranklinpsyd.com or uh, feel free to send me a message too. I'll be happy to answer your questions um, if you'd like to get more information or schedule one of those sessions. So, okay, be well, and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow.